This man adores this woman. This woman adores and respects her man. That's clear. So, it boils down to an agreement. He's proud of her. She accomplished double what she said she was gonna do. That's a person with some willpower and some guts. They don't make that every day. Excuse me, that's a bad girl right there. Yes, it is. Now, I know that probably ain't politically correct, but whatever. I've been to HR so many damn times. Let's, <laughs> let's go again. Oh, I said it, yeah. <laughs> and I'm all for women's rights. I think women should get equal pay, equal everything. I think well, whatever man get, a woman ought to get. I think you deserve more than men half the time for that stuff you put up with. But I don't really care nothing about that. I'm old school. If you're gonna be my wife, and I'm gonna be your man, then you're gonna take this name right here. Now, if you don't want this name right here, that's cool. That's cool. Go on about your business. <laughs> but if you agreed to do it, you should be held to it. And all this thing, it was COVID and all this here. Well, hell, while it was COVID, you was getting a degree, <laughs> losing 65 pounds, you was buying work vans, you started a YouTube page, you made some new friends, you ain't run up on the curb with the car no more. You learned how to cook. You went and got an honors award and all that here. You did all that during COVID. Damn it, get your name changed. Thank you. Thank you. I'm ruling for the plaintiff. With the stipulation after the name has been changed. I'm awarding you $10,000 to go on the honeymoon and go make a damn baby. That's my verdict, and that's the way I see it.